Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. The last time, we paid the Tollkeeper her due, and took down a freaking bartender in a fight that really shouldn't have happened. Ugh, I'm still annoyed with that. The game suddenly just decided, nope, different characters gonna deal with uh, this than other than our main. <laughs> now, I I'm back here because someone suggested to me that I actually should try something I haven't actually managed to succeed at doing once and that is do you speak with dead on something like seriously <sighs> why am I over here doing this well it's because I, I kind of feel like we might be able to get some closure with these you know if these two parents of Arabella's might be able to help us get some information here the corpse remains silent The corpse remains silent. Well, why is this one glowing then? Huh? Well, that suggestion sucked. Seriously, what a waste of my time. And a waste of a good spell slot. Alright. Uh, well, screw that then. I'm just gonna load up the save from earlier. I'll rebuff the party and I'll meet you guys in front of Moonrise. Alright. Officially ready to head into Moonrise. A little hesitant here. I'm kind of wishing I had Shadowheart back in the party, but you know, we're kind of on Halston right now. Missing that extra 10, <laughs> missing that 10 extra HP. I'm also missing those Char buffs. I tried to go back and get them again, but uh, apparently they're one time thing. Even after a long rest. Disappoint. Oh, I just got. Lanterns Not everywhere here. Far enough. Come on, man. I got the worm. You're going to let me go by. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? All right. Little from the field. What news inside? I might ask the same. Why is one of our rank on guard duty? That's for your superiors to know. Uh, we're not tell doing this because that's just straight being an asshole. This is suicide. This is, do you have anything worth? You really have nothing. Hmm. Why well, is one of our rank? Uh, I might ask a little from the field. Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel was in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Well then, let's not keep her waiting. Let's not. Eh, might as well blend in. At this point, it, at this point, it's straight up blend in. That's a weird buff. Moon shield and death ward. Next time you would die, you go to one. Oh, and the moon shield's just the the lantern. This fortress was a seat of the high heralds, I believe. Long gone from here, of course. Who hmm. now? A council of intellectuals, respected. What's going bump a dump around here? Leading authorities on heraldry, of course, but also huh. history, genealogy, and diplomacy. Seems like diplomacy failed. If they allowed Ketherick Thorn to take over, twice. Mm-hmm. Maybe keep all that to yourselves, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just exploring. <sighs> I, I like I can't imagine this dude being anything but going pear shaped in the eventually. But I want to keep eventually for as long as possible, just like what we did with the goblin camp. Something had seen invisibility. There can be oh, no kitchen. Doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Dominated will. Oh, must be you, I assume. A moment, true soul. 
You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. Now, how can I help you? Barnabas? Never seen a tame knoll before. Soft and sweet as pudding, isn't he? He no longer remembers his life in the wild. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Hmm. You actually stood before the Absolute? Actually, hold on. Do you have anything of actual value? You have an arrow of lightning. Uh... Yeah, screw it. It's cheap. I have. It is one thing to hear her voice. Quite another to feel the power she can grant. Observe. Oh dear. Barnabas, sweetie. Come show what a good boy you are. Oh. What would you like him to do? Uh, nothing. Keep your sick games to yourself. Oh, as you wish. A little advice. Should you seek an audience with her, steal yourself. Hmm. To be remade, we must be willing to suffer. You almost make this audience sound dangerous. You ascend the tower as a true soul, and return as something more, if you return at all. Yeah. I'm gonna turn on Speak with Animals, just in case. Huh. Interesting. Poor guys. Oh, there's so much stuff in here that I could be taking. But it's not mine. Huh. It's a big area. I mean, I expected it to be pretty big. Moonrise Towers, main floor. Pilgrim Soul. You're a shopkeeper. A Raja Blodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul. Uh, what was the role the there for? Companion. Why am I getting roles here all of a sudden? I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. Uh. What does a trader in blood do exactly? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one. If you'd honor me with your blood. Oh dear. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. Uh, and what do you do with the blood you Research, keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Hmm, what kind of potion is this? No idea. But it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Alright, I might regret this, but let's see what happens. It's a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. Ow! God damn, oh, lady. Yeah. Easy with the needle. One of your very best traits. In a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. Hmm? He's a vampire, no. Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, they have eyes. I That's why. He did. I assume he belongs to you? <laughs> he does what I tell him, if that's what you mean. <laughs> As it should be. Oh, sorry, Asterian. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Astarian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian, 
I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Wait, really? Uh, I'm sorry. You want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. Hmm. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Oh dear. I am surprised, Asterion. I thought you'd jump at a chance like this. I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. Oh dear. Uh, a potion that powerful could change our fates. Isn't that worth a bad taste in your mouth? I... I suppose you have a point. I don't have all day, true soul. Fine. I'll do it. <sighs> Sorry, Dad, Asterion. I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. Oh, dear. Oh! Incredible. Incredible. KK! <laughs> Damn, Asteria. Can't have it that bad. Oh, hell. <clears throat> Not your taste. You're fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. Oh my god. I'll be able to put this to good use. Ugh, I don't have to work a- I'm gonna have to- <laughs> Guild Artisan, blood, sweat, and the other thing. <laughs> I get inspiration for watching Forestarian suffer. Welcome back, true soul. All right, show me the stock, because I haven't got a chance to actually see what you have for sale here. What do we got? Potions, potions, a greater healing potion. I'll snag that up since I've superior healing. Ah, they get even better. Keep finding these. Give me extra slots. What do you got? Grease, Ice Storm, Fly, Detect, Crown of Madness. Circle of Hunting. Fairy fire and guiding bolt. Ah, that's useless. Deals thunder damage. No. You gain a plus one bonus to your spell save DC. Mm. Meh. That's odd, but yeah, I need a better cloak than that. Uh, you cannot be paralyzed or restrained, and you ignore difficult terrain. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. You gain advantage on attack rolls and disadvantage on saves. Oof. Oh, and you dash, you get arcane charges. I think I'm gonna take that ring, though. And I can sell off a bunch of my shit here. Apparently I'm not carrying enough shit. Ah, <sighs> that's my problem. I'm just not carrying enough shit, apparently. Or I'm just not selling enough of it. Here, have all the books. Get out of my inventory. I don't need any of these. They're all garbage. It's all junk. <laughs> this is hilarious. I just... <laughs> it's just not useful, unfortunately. I probably... yeah couple of these weapons I should just toss. 
What else we got here? Some more books that need to go away. Really wish I knew what happened to that spear. I'm so annoyed that it's just disappeared. Good now, we sold off enough random shit. Right, I don't need his old armor. Or his old boots. Or whatever the hell this is. Keep the bell. Come back anytime. Uh, yes, my guy's lost his invisibility because we have eyeballs around that see invisible. That's a good sized area. Doesn't seem quite as big as the, the goblin camp though. Oh. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough. Oh. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Hmm. <laughs> you have anything interesting to trade in the middle of this? <laughs> you do not. I'm just gonna watch. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. Ah, there he you is. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! Oh, this is a Asterion through the conversation. Served our cause. How did Asterion get involved in the conversation? Attack the half orc and the general. That just seems stupid. We know he's immortal. They're faithful soldiers. See? What I tell ya? Praise the absolute. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. Kind of like you. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Her voice sounds so familiar. Kill them quickly. What? No! You freaking old bag of shit! Uh oh. <laughs> Damn! Good throw! Probably should have aimed for someone else, though. Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. <sighs> Try again. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! <gasps> what is this guy? <laughs> oh! Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. God damn. Well, this guy's a freaking monster. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Uh, what am I meant to do with them exactly? They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. 
Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. Oh. They will obey any command. Well. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Oh, praise the absolute and praise her true soul. You did the right thing. I'm sure those nasties deserved a bollocking, but we're no executioners. Let's go see what Zarel makes of it. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not stupid enough to be sitting on the throne. Find out where the tieflings are being held. That's a good question. Where are the tieflings being held? Don't try giving orders, true soul. Everyone here answers directly to Zarel. Eh, it was worth a shot. Got two shopkeepers in here? Bunch of pilgrims. Bunch of acolytes. Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Carlac, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Carlac, who's Flo? Uh, hold on, trade first. Bitch has got three soul coins. God, those are not cheap. Get some short rest potions. Halberd of Vigilance. D10 plus two enchantment. Uh, plus one bonus to initiative and advantage on perception. Reaction attacks are made with advantage. That's not terrible. What else we got? Plus one light crossbow. That'd be good for... Uh, no, he needs an actual bow bow. Speaking of, where is Hassan? Can he use this? He has proficiency with it. Awesome. It's a thing. I just want to make sure everyone at least has a ranged weapon of some kind. Plus two rapier. Hmm. Strength modifier. He doesn't have a strength modifier. Plus one bonus to your spell save DC, and a plus one to initiative rolls. It's not considered armor. Might actually pick that up for, uh, Carlac. Yeah, let's do that. Help her move faster and turns too. Oh, that's good armor. Uh, unfortunately, Shadowheart and Asteri uh, Shadowheart and uh, Lazelle are both of my heavy armor crew. They're not in here right now. While raging, the wearer generates two turns of wrath. Constitution plus two, meh. I'm already wearing a padded plus two. Plus one plate. Holy shit, that's expensive. Who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambion I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. Oh. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Hmm. Is she a threat? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. 
I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. <laughs> Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Uh... Shouldn't take anything offered by a devil too risky. Can be in, but you're right. Then again, they could really come in handy. <sighs> Fine. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. <laughs> you asked a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo-woo and stuck him in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Ouch. You want the coins or not? Uh, fine. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers all named Balder. Oh, of course. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. Damn. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. <sighs> we'll put that coin to better use than Tiamat would have. <laughs> sure you will. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Oh, let me guess, they ate him. Yell answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Wow. Help us rid the realms of people like Zariel. <laughs> Whatever you need to tell yourself. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. Wait a minute. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day. Which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins after the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. I mean, plenty, but I've already seen everything you've got. I was a farrier in the Valley. When the dreams came. My brothers had the dreams too. Huh. This is the one. To whom it may concern, Frog got his head stuck in a butter barrel, and when the little imp thing tried to help him, they both fell off the ledge into a volcano. I laughed so hard Zariel sent me out of the room. Other than that, you haven't missed much, though I'm sure as hell missed you. XO flow. Oh my god. Ah, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Just straight up kind of disturbing there. Uh, I'm actually going to put that on. Come on, let's go. First off, you need a better helmet. And this one will be perfect to you. So I make sure, yep, your AC doesn't change. That's the thing I was watching. You hear her? Of 
many hearts. There you one go. Soul. Of many thoughts. No time to rest. One mind. What in the heck? They say the general cannot die. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, no. Nobody here has anything interesting to say, I'm guessing. Oh, you you have just a name, Erna. The thrower you want? We only talk when you've misbehaved. Roy. Ah, there's Roa. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, Tree? Wait, you're with the Xanthorum again. First off, let's trade. And then I'll be like, wait a minute, we've seen each other. God, some of these potions, or some of these scrolls are starting to get a little expensive here. Glaives. Against Dragonborn Breath Weapon, that's useless. Gold Wormling Staff. Uh, no, my Incandescent Staff is definitely better. Ooh. Ooh, okay, no, we're getting these. These are just throwables for her. Monster Dense's Monstrosities. Plus one Rapier. Plus one Shirt Bow, right? I need to equip that. Plus one to ranged attack rolls and throne. Nah. Armor of Devotion. Heavy armor. Plus one Breastplate. Plus two Chainmail. Plus two Chain Shirt. Some half plate, some hide two, some leather two. Plus one to stealth, deck saves and checks. That's not terrible. Hmm. Plate plus one, ring plus two, just a bunch of decent armors. Sharpen snare cuirass, medium armor. Add your full decks to your armor class. Creatures have disadvantage on uh, then inflict restraint. Meh. Virulent Venom, Ring of Spiteful Thunder, Gloves of Crushing to Unarmed Attacks. Okay, nope, no interest there. We've met before at the Goblin Camp. Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. <laughs> Careful, that sounds like an accusation. The guilty here hears blame in every breath. But you're among friends here, true soul. Look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together. And quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? <laughs> You sound almost concerned for my safety. More concerned that your business might be bad for my business. So don't go kicking the hive while there's still some honey to be had. Fair enough. Just uh, be sure to clear out when the shit show hits the fan, because it will hit the fan. Hello? Meat sounds above. Here. Mm hmm. Okay. Huh. Do you have anything of actual value, madame? No, you don't. Is it you? No. Meg only small. This huge. You small? It was above. Maybe whole tower. Huh. You find meat? You share. Sure. <laughs> I'll share. Just don't eat me. <laughs> 
Interesting. Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Is it? Is it really? I have a sneaking suspicion it might be more than that. Need to zoom out. Stairs? There's stairs on the other side of this, huh? This is the spot that's marked on that map. It is? Are we sure? Not seeing anything. Uh, maybe it's further up. Kitty? These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. Ah? Uh ho -huh. <laughs> ho Murder every single one you find. I intend to. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. Damn. <laughs> you know that tadpole is dead, right? Lies, it merely pretends. But I'm a patient hunter. I will wait for it to stir, and then I will strike. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. <laughs> Carlyle gets inspiration, and clearly we have a dead tadpole parasite around here somewhere. <laughs> oh. I over I over exerted on the uh, the inspiration it seems. Looking for a way down. Yeah, there's stairs down. There we are. I don't want to go if the if the game's telling me to go up, I want to go down. I want to explore everywhere. We've got these damn eyeballs. Questioners, huh? Plant one foot in front of the other. Head forward. Back straight. Make them fear you. Sure. A false life scroll? For some reason taking this does not count as theft, so sure. That's the case. I have no reason to uh, not take it. Oh, this place sounds lovely. Secret stash. What in the hell? I'm seeing tentacles over there. Tieflings. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for disciple Balthazar's attention only. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. What are they going to do? Talk me to death? There we go. More than enough. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. <laughs> Not to worry, I have a permit! <laughs> now, you where were we? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. Oh. 
What are the gnomes planning? By the way, do you have anything to trade? <laughs> Leah's to-do list. I can't read bloody minds. Go on, before someone sees. Gnomes a couple cells down, huh? And you're the one that got bitchy at me, huh? This post too? I'm glad I got the warden and not Zarel. Don't get chatty with the prisoners, mind you. The warden won't like that. Hmm. Oh, fuck the warden. Wolverine? You ordered that guard about as if you were the absolute herself. What do you want with us? Exactly. <laughs> ah, I'm here to help you guys get out. Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Well, among other things, we have a mutual friend. Barkus told me you were here and asked me to help. <laughs> I know the tieflings in prison here. I want to break you all out. Uh, my mind is my own. I'm an undercover agent for the Flaming Fist. Yeah, Barkus told me you were here and asked me to help. Barkus is out here? Didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. Nope. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrin. Ah, pleasure to meet you. We've got a plan for us and the Tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools, that head case of a warden robbed ours, but anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Hmm. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Back wall and beyond. Water. I'd bet my last copper there's a pier. Interesting. Anything that breaks stone will do, huh? I gotta wait for these eyeballs to get out of my way. My quest list is getting crazy here. Over his friends to break out, but he needs our help. The warden confiscated their weapons, but anything that can break rock will do. Whatever we find, we need to pass it to him discreetly. The gnomes want to help the tieflings. And we have to actually deal with Thorm to get rid of the shadow curse. Yep, exactly. Not the zealot. Good question. What do I have that can break rock? Hmm. What do I have that can break rock? Uh, what do I have that could potentially break some rock here? I have anything that's big enough to break rock? I mean, I've got the bombs. Will these do? Uh, I have any other like big tools, like a pickaxe or something? Damn, I think I sold most of my good shit. I need like a warhammer or something to break rock. <sighs> Cell levers, prisoner logs. I imagine that's the war done. Kind of just gonna leave him alone. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Oh, sorry. Didn't know it was locked. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know it was locked. I'm sorry. There. Sheesh. 
Oh, those eyeballs can literally phase through the walls. That's irritating. Huh. Okay, I need something that can break rock. Uh, can I go to camp? Let me pick- let me pick stop at camp. Maybe I have something in storage or someone else's inventory that can actually really do a number on rock. Uh, what do we got around here? I'm not giving up the blood of Lathander. And that should do some damage. Oh. Lazelle might actually have a bomb or three on her inventory, too. All right. Yeah, that's not it. Did I store it? Let me check. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, certain things are, like, disappearing out of my inventory and shouldn't be. <sighs> Arabella willing to talk now? I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry the I love that Withers has been no. helping her. No. Whoa! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin. Where morning meets midnight. The root of all being. Calm down there. Balance. <laughs> They're dead. I can't. Oh, poor girl. Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Whoa. Her talent is now yours too. That's not what I expected. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane, but she shan't remain here. Huh? Where will she go then? The weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. Oh. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Hmm. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Bone man? <laughs> Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. <sighs> you can trust Withers. If he says you'll be safe, you should believe him. I... <laughs> Aww. You feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Damn. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. <laughs> if there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Oh. Uh, what I get? Shadow Blade Ring. Huh. I accept. Now. Where was I? Oh yes, I was looking at this thing to see if there was anything in here that, you know, would help out with the issues at hand. This mostly just looks like food. 
Random water barrel. Wine barrel. Hmm. No, that'll just that won't do any good. Damn, I was really hoping I had something that, you know, would go properly kaboom. But clearly not. Maybe I do give him the smoke powder bomb. I bloody hope not. If he saves us, I'll never hear the end of it. Then I just gotta wait for all these guard things to go past. Buzz off, please. Turn based here. Come on, go turn based. I need the game to pause for five seconds so I'm not. Oh, fuck, never mind. One of the fucking eyes is over here again. Go, 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 come on. Pause time. <laughs> Shish. Unfortunately, uh, I need to do place in world, not drop item. We're gonna wait until it's quiet and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. All right. Uh, God, do we do this now? Hold in yourself. Hurry, or we're all dead. behind the back wall and beyond water I'd bet my last copper there's a pier nearby this could be our chance sir god do I do this now does it piss off everything good work we're gonna wait. We'll grab the teeth. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrol. We'll move once it's quiet. Hmm. 
spark of the familiar. Do I know you, Trousseau? Oh god, I'm still an Asterian. Mm, perhaps not. Your face is rather bland. Regardless, know this. I am the Warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. What to do? Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Regardless, know this. I am the warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. Hmm. Gently probe the warden's mind. It is a gentle. Uh, I will also take the guidance, and I am plenty of inspiration in case this roll goes pear shaped. Uh, that might be down to the guidance. Yes. Your mind swirls with information about the prison. The small levers behind the warden's desk open every cell, while the larger one triggers the alarm. And interesting items confiscated from prisoners lie above the warden's office, just up the ladder. Ah. If you are going to stare, kindly do it elsewhere. As I said, you are free to roam where you wish, okay. but do not speak to the prisoners. Uh, where's Ravenguard at? I didn't see him. He sounds important, and I'm afraid the mere dregs are the only ones left in my care. Ah. I'll do my utmost to impress you. Pity you're already failing, then. Eesh. Who's Balthazar? They are. they are letting all sorts become a true soul these days. He is chief advisor to General Ketherick, and one of the Absolute's favored. His necromancy is second only to the General's. It is an honor to serve him. Oof. You remind me a little of the warden. Such gravitas. Oh, they're fucking. You gotta be shitting me. Well, they just pissed off the whole world here. This just went all kinds of pear-shaped on us. These eyeball things don't have a huge amount of health, right? Good. <sighs> Down. 
downside is I'm out of range and there's two of them now. I don't want a wild shape because that's just going to cause me problems. Shillelagh this bitch, but I used up all my movement. Nice, now she's down to one health. And Impy can finish her off with any luck. Oh, this went completely pear-shaped on us. Light on my feet. Pop both eyes, good. Shit gets ugly. It's also why I didn't do anything like rage. It's just the three. Oh, no, there's the fucking warden. That's what I was afraid to see. Where is she, anyway? Ah, on the beach. There's a fucking crowd in here, man. Let's go. Of this actually working. 45, 30, somehow he's worse. Ah, oh, I made the save. By Bitch. Help. I've got it. Oh. Cute. There's something there. No. Oh, that's cute. She thinks being invisible is going to help her. One day I'll catch a break. Where's the rest of my movement, huh? Oh, 
Oh, that's not gonna end well. Oh. Dang now, he just insta-gibbed one. Oh, that was nickel. Okay, that's not Wolverine. I'm sorry. Boy, this went pear-shaped fast. No, that's an area of effect. Only have one target. Hold person on this asshole. Got him. Now I just gotta find the warden. Deal with her ass. she was. She just killed somebody. Damn it. Easy. Oh, bitch. Come on, Karlak. Show him who you are. down and fast. Fuck, he made the save. I really didn't want him to make that save. He's got so much health left, too. But Asterion's gonna get another turn here. What about you? You've got plenty of health left, too. her again. Make her lose her turn here. No, she made it again. Get right up in her face. Sorry, we didn't get everyone. Who did we lose? We lost Nichols. Poor Nichols. And we lost Cal. Oh. Boat's good to go. 
All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Do I? Uh, look to the east for the last light in. You'll be welcome there. Something survived in this hellscape. You should have led with that. See you there. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I still lost a tiefling and a gnome. Oh, couldn't save everybody, but I was at least able to save most of them. Now the real question is, did I piss off everyone in Moonrise? Because if I did, then I'm kind of fucked. Alright, Wilburn has arrived safely, we should let Barkus know. The tieflings have arrived, we should speak to them. At least as many as we could. Charmer. You need to get your shit back. Ooh. There we go. Hello. Oh, Joshua, not Jellic Reprieve, arrow, some barbed arrows, a heavy crossbow, which I don't care about. Spell Crux Amulet. Spell Slot Restoration? Replenish any expended spell slot of any level. Oh, fuck. That's good. Prison key, Moonrise Guards key. God. Well, I've pissed off everything, most likely. And there's also our stash over here. Just to live in more interesting times. We, uh, we gonna open this? Gold and remove curse. That could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse, though. Huh. God, is everything in the tower gonna be pissed off? If that's the case, oh boy. Just made this so much harder for ourselves. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me for more insane games like this. And as always... I'll see you in the next video. Nice.